Local government, oh. 236. The second local government we have done is been the local government, and been the local government has a total number of 178 persons. The third local government we did is the quarter local government has a total number of 120, 112, 112. What local government we have done, Umunoti local government has a total number of 160, 116, 116. The fifth local government we have done, or half a local government has a total number of 135 persons. We have a total number of Votes 777. Not um, total number of accredited votes 777. Total votes cast 777. Valid votes 777. Invalid nail. And the result comes. Dr. O.J. Uzo Kalo Senator, serving the people of uh, Abia North, Central District, has a total number of 777, while Fabian, Barrister Fabian Wanko had new, and uh, Ijago Emma ba has new. Therefore, this is certified that Senator. Dr. O.J. Ozokalo have scored the highest vote of number cast is hereby declared winner. Yeah. Yeah. Our party members who have been here since morning, this fight that was cleaning up, we decided to do this direct primary, uh, uh, direct, direct primary, because of some security challenges here. I. Fabian is here, he's a gentleman. This morning, I had a call from Barrister Fabian Wampo. Okoko, okay, sorry. Congratulating me because we are one family, one big family, one big party family. 
I want to again thank all the security agencies, thank all the people, thank all the people who participated. I will allow him to make some few remarks and I'll conclude. And at least I'm not only a senator, I was a former governor of the state. <laughs> 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 Yes, I want to thank all our people, all the APC faithful that are here, all the delegates from the five local governments that are convived here at the senatorial headquarters in Ohofia, Abia North. You are welcome. APC is one big family in Abia State. Yes. The interest of APC and Abians is more important and paramount to the interest of any individual, including myself. Yes, I bought the forms to contest for this election to be in the Senate. I'm qualified to be in the Senate. I am 55 years old. I turned 55 years today. And this is, and this is my 28 years of active courtroom practice. So I can be in the Senate. But my senior brother here, His Excellency, Dr. Joseph Okano, my former governor, is here. He has been in the Senate. He also bought the form. I thought he was going for the president. That was why I bought the form. Wow. Thinking that you leave me to go to the Senate. And, <laughs> and <laughs> the <laughs> but when he called my leader, High Chief Ike Chemenike, and complained that I bought for that he wants to go back to the Senate, MNK called me at Wakanda today and compelled me, ordered me to step down for my senior brother, who is his very good friend for a long time. Uh, right Honorable Nkiru Koye daughter called me last night, she was almost crying. Said that please, she doesn't want trouble with uh, His Excellency Dr. Joseph Kano. That he doesn't have to make trouble. That I should leave, that I should leave him to go. So uh, I've decided, he's my senior brother, my governor, my senator. So let him go. We are not going to fight. The most important thing is for all of us to coalesce put us together to go and rescue Abia again from the hand of the rogue PDP. Yes, sir. Abia is in the right hand. APC! Everywhere you go. Abia, my man. Umuno Chikelen. Squat on my man. Ohoche, my man. Tekelen. Arosuma. I want to say that I'm very happy again and the party is the same party. The the woman also who purchased the form was on her way. She called. She and she had decided also to step down. I would so it's a very uh, good omen for this constituency. I'm here with my representative, Honorable Ben Carlo. I'm here with my former representative in Aba North, Aba South, Honorable Nana Uzo Carlo. So, and many other people. I'm here with uh, one of my closest friends, a businessman, uh, Chief Smart Okor, and the Federal Commissioner, uh, the Ombudsman of Abia State. He just is uh, valid by the side of the Honorable Member. And I'm sure Honorable Kiro Yejocha is on her way, coming. But the church has already dismissed that. <laughs> About the man is the acting bishop. <laughs> so the bishop has come at the Oka Abasago. Aja Abasago. To the glory of God and the goodness of Abia Lord. I accept it wholeheartedly with my heart and with my mind that I will continue to work for our party, for the good well-being of our party. Thank you very much. Well, there is nothing to regard all about than to thank people of Abia North, APC. We are now going to face the bigger business, is to face the other parties, which have heard that our traditional rulers, our professionals, businessmen are saying they are going to return me on the push. And um, I want to see what they will do. So I thank people of this constituency. I thank the APC uh, in Abia North. You can see Chief Okonkwo just left. Uh, uh, we have no faction. I have never been in a faction. I'm surprised even when the national put me in a faction, when I have never been in a faction. We are very surprised. I've never been in any faction. I'm Chief Whip of the Senate. And when you know the role, the chief whip plays to the Senate. 
You know, my appointment is by given to me by the party. So I cannot factionalize the party that gave me office. So uh, being the chief whip means I'm a representative of the entire APC in the Senate. Me and the Senate leader. Where, where the place is like we're virtually appointed by the party. So I, I cannot belong to any factionalization. And I've never hoped, I never begged anybody I want to be vice president. I, I'm vying to be a senator of Federal Republic of Nigeria. If by any means, anything, uh, any work is given to me to do, I will do it very well. I'm capable of doing any job. Very, very capable. Eh? And um, I've never asked mm, Senator Ahmed Lawa or bargain with him that I want to be vice president. Not even for a day. Not even for a day. He's a disciplined man. This is our party. We work for our party to the glory of God. We are going to face industrialization, small scale industries, medium scale farming, and uh, making our people to go back. The roads are not even been finished. We are going to do more roads here because uh, this year's budget, 2022, are not been touched. When we finish touching that, I think we are pushing to go up to 100 rows before the end of 2023. That is where we will be. This is the best thing that can happen to our generations. I mean, it's obvious. It's not a political statement. It's a statement of fact. Yes. That is, in the history of these senatorial districts, we've not had anybody do the kind of things he has done, not because he's here, but because the fact speaks for themselves. The infrastructure development, the interventions, the bills, the interest to build this district is uh, second to none. I am delighted that he is going back there, not because he's my leader and mentor, but because he's the right peg for the right hole. And Abians and this senatorial district, they aren't saying nothing yet. It is going to unfold in the coming days. I have confidence that this man here will do a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you.